The Great Attractor, a truly massive mystery. I'm just looking up some uh, pictures on it here, and there are a few pictures that really get me going here. This is a good one. The best one is uh, here. What does that remind you of? It reminds me of a plant. It looks like a plant leaf somewhat and the veins inside of it which are known to be electricity. When you water it and give it sun the electricity and the plant leaves make the leaves stand up. So going back to this mystery here I noticed another thing too. Where is it? Here it is. Whoops. What's that about? Get out of here. Uh, to me, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's electricity. Those are electric lines. I mean, what else could they be, really? I got a little article here. Now, they call this the dipole repeller, but I visited this site here, and we'll read a little bit of this. Until now, scientists assume that a dense region of the universe is pulling us toward it. In the same way that gravity made Newton's apple fall. Hmm. The initial prime suspect was called the Great Attractor, a region of a half dozen rich clusters of galaxies 150 million light years from the Milky Way. Soon after, attention was drawn to an area of more than two dozen rich clusters called the Shapley Concentration, named after Shapley from Harvard, who was uh, Velikovsky's main detractor, which sits 600 million light years beyond the Great Attractor, which is not an object, but instead a point in the center of the supercluster of galaxies in which our Milky Way exists. Although we can't feel it, we're in constant motion. Earth spins on its axis at about 1600 kilometers an hour. It orbits around the Sun at about 100,000 kilometers per hour. The Sun orbits our Milky Way galaxy at about 850,000 kilometers per hour. And the Milky Way galaxy and its companion galaxy Andromeda, probably our parent, are moving with respect to the expanding universe at roughly 2 million kilometers per hour. But what is propelling the Milky Way's race through space? Exciting new research shows that our galaxy is not being pulled, but also pushed. In a new study in the forthcoming issue of Nature Astronomy, researchers describe a previously unknown very large region in our extragalactic neighborhood largely devoid of galaxies. This void exerts a repelling force on our local group of galaxies. By 3D mapping the flow of galaxies through space, we found that our Milky Way galaxy is speeding away from a large, previously unidentified region of low density. Because it repels rather than attracts, we call this region the dipole repeller, said Professor Yehuda Hoffman. In addition to being pulled towards the known Shapley concentration, we are also being pushed away from the newly discovered dipole repeller. Thus, it has become apparent that a push and pull are of comparable importance at our location. And of course, he's going to go on to say that uh, we live in a universe that is expanding and has been ever since the Big Bang. That's the problem. And you start getting into things and they start doing that, then it's time to go. Because it's just ridiculous. The presence of such low-density region has been suggested previously, but confirming the absence of galaxies by observation has proved challenging. But in this new study, Hoffman at the Hebrew University of Raqqa 
Reka, Institutes of Physics, working with colleagues in the USA and France, tried a different approach. Using powerful telescopes, among them the Hubble Space Telescope, they constructed a 3D map of the galaxy flow field. Flows are direct responses to the distribution of matter away from regions that are relatively empty and toward regions of mass concentration. The large scale structure of the universe is encoded in the low field of galaxies. They studied the peculiar velocities, those in excess of the universe's rate of expansion of galaxies around the Milky Way, combining different data sets of peculiar velocities with a rigorous statistical analysis of their properties. They thereby inferred the underlying mass distribution that consists of dark matter and luminous galaxies over dense regions that attract the under dense ones that repel. They're going to go out of their way and go through everything they can to avoid saying that they are electric. And yet they have no problem calling it the dipole repeller, which is clearly an electric term. <laughs> they can't do that. How can they explain something when their whole theory is built on quicksand, built on this dumb big bang? They want to invoke anything they can except what it really is, electricity. I wanted to make this video real quick because I wanted to ask you if you know of anywhere where I can get some good information on this because I've been looking and all I find is mainstream gobbledygook, you know? So, I don't know. Doodly squat. I think that's what the lady said. <laughs> but it is very intriguing. Millions of galaxies stream toward a mass 250 million light years away, simply known as the Great Attractor. Hmm. But here's the picture that gets me, you know, there's a couple of them, but let me see, let me find it here. This one right here. Uh, look at that. That's something. Those look like electric lines to me. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? What does this look like to you? I need to go on the Thunderbolts website and see what they're saying about it. Because that's where you're going to get the real deal. The truth. There's a nice one. Looks like a plant, doesn't it? Hmm. Just like the leaf in one of my plants. Our cosmic neighborhood. I haven't seen it yet. If it exists, I don't know, maybe. But I haven't been able to find it. And I've been looking. The great attractor complex. Gravity pools within a 600,000 M light years radius. I don't know. Miles, probably. I don't know what that means. Gravity pools within a 600,000 M light years radius. I don't know. It's a nice picture. It's kind of strange. They don't really even know what the Milky Way galaxy looks like. They just assume that it's a barred spiral. All right, I just wanted to get on real quick and talk about this great attractor because it has my interest. And I'd like to know more about it. So if you know of a place where I can glean some good information, please let me know. Because I think that this thing is going to put the whole subject to bed eventually. Alright, thank you.